So now let's say we are finished uh, building our website and we're ready to publish. So to publish our website, we have to go to the top right here and um, click on the publish button. So you could either publish your website on a webflow.io domain, which is not something that I would recommend, obviously, because it's a very unprofessional. Um, and if you wanna use your own custom domain, for example, maddoxmedia.com, you have to add a site plan to your project, so to your website. Now let's click on click here to add a custom domain. And that will open up my uh, the project settings of this uh, this website. You could also get there by just going to the little um, Webflow icon, going to project settings, and then here going to hosting. And that's basically the same the same place that we have just gotten to before. And um, the pricing plans are a bit confusing with Webflow. What you have to understand is that there are two different pricing plans. There is the pricing plan for your Webflow account, and then there's the pricing plan for each website that you're building inside of Webflow. So let's first talk about the account plan. So when I go to account here, go to upgrade plan, then I can see the different account plans. And by default, you are on the free plan, which for most people is, is probably enough because you have two projects that you can build without paying anything with maximum of two pages, um, but you can start building out your website. And uh, once you have added a site plan, this, this right here, to your website, then a new slot will open up. And um, the only reason you would wanna uh, upgrade to the light plan is if you would wanna export your code or if you wanna have uh, enhanced staging, client billing, or actually client billing is also available for the free plan, or you wanna have uh, more unhosted projects. So for, for you, uh, I would just stay on the free plan for now and just worry about the side plans. Um, so let's talk about the site plan. So obviously, if you have an e-commerce website, you would have to choose the e-commerce site plans. Um, but we're going to stay with the website site plans for now. And again, uh, obviously, if you pay annually, so if you pay up front, it will be a bit cheaper. So I'm going to choose monthly here. And um, the pretty much for most of you, the only plans that would be interesting to you is the basic plan or the CMS plan. Um, with the basic plan, you get 100 static pages, um, um, 25,000 monthly visits, 500 form submissions, and so on. The main difference is that if you will have CMS items on your website, you wanna go with the CMS plan. And another big difference is also that you can have multiple content editors. So maybe if you're a freelancer and you wanna have um, your clients as editors so that you can design the website and then they can add content, then you also would wanna go to the uh, CMS plan because then you can add content editors. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go for the basic plan so I can show you exactly how to add a domain. So I'm gonna go to add basic. So now that I have added this basic plan right here, I can scroll down and start publishing my website on my own custom domain. But first I have to add my custom domain to Webflow. So here we have to just scroll down and click on, or actually if you're somewhere else, just go to hosting on your project settings and then scroll down, go to uh, add custom domain right here and then just type in your domain. Now, for example, I'm just gonna add uh, medicstutorials.com, uh, which is the domain that I own. Go to add domain, click okay here, and then they'll show you the exact instructions on how to assign your domain to uh, Webflow. So just do what it says here or follow along with this video. I'm just gonna show you how to do it um, with my registrar, which is Bluehost. So now I'm logged into my Bluehost account and I'm gonna go to domains right here. Gonna choose the medicstutorials.com domain, gonna go to DNS settings. And here's where I have to add two A name records. And as we can see, there's already a, a host record with the add symbol. So first I have to delete this specific record. I wanna make sure it's just the right, uh, the right URL, Medix Tutorials, that's fine. I'm gonna delete this A name record uh, right here. And then I'm gonna start adding the A name records that they want me to add here. So I'm gonna click on add record. The host record would be just the add symbol, points to. This is what they give me here. It's copy, just click on this value and then it copies it to your clipboard. Then I'm gonna paste it in here, gonna click save. And I'm gonna do the same thing again with this value right here. So again, add record, 
add symbol for host record, points to, paste the address, I'm gonna click save. Now I have to do, uh, I have to go ahead and add a CNAME record. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna look for a CNAME and I'm gonna add a record here as well. I'm gonna go to type is the CNAME. The name is www, so this would be www right here. And then the value is proxy um, hyphen ssl.webflow.com. I'm just gonna paste this in here and then I'm gonna click save. So there was actually an error because I already have a www CNAME record. So I'm gonna just delete this, uh, remove, and then I'm gonna try and add it again. So let's click save again. Okay, so now it's saved and that's basically all you have to do to assign um, your, your domain to Webflow. Now probably it's not working yet because it takes some time to propagate through the entire web. So um, you can come back later and then what you wanna do also is click on check status and then it will automatically connect your website to your domain.